Hello, my name is Lassi Meronen and I'll present you our paper Periodic Activation Functions Induced Stationarity. This is a joint work with Martin Trapp and Arno Solin from Aalto University in collaboration with Saab. Understanding prior assumptions induced into contemporary machine learning models uh, is an important task. In neural networks, the prior assumptions are induced from architectural choices, such as the choice of the activation function and the prior on the neural network weights. In fact, in Bayesian neural networks, the induced uh, prior assumptions or uh, inductive biases can be observed in the model's behavior outside of training data range. Here we have uh, some figures showing behavior induced by common activation functions, such as the ReLU, which is non-stationary behavior, which leads to uh, confident extrapolation outside of training data. On the left, we have 1D regression examples showing predicted mean and variance. And on the right, we have a 2D classification example on the banana data set. And even though non-stationarity can be beneficial in maximizing predictive accuracy, um, it can be problematic when uncertainty quantification is needed because it often leads to overconfidence outside of the training data distribution. And using a different activation function can help us uh, achieve locally stationary behavior. And we can see that now instead of extrapolating outside of the training data, the model reverts back to the mean. However, the variance vanishes outside of training data. In this work, we show that using periodic activation functions can achieve global stationary behavior. And consequently, using periodic activation functions in Bayesian neural networks leads to the model reverting not only to the mean, uh, prior mean, but also to the prior variance when moving away from training data. And this helps us achieve models that actually know what they do not know. Periodic activation functions have also been used in the previous work. For example, to construct implicit neural representations in recognition of handwritten digits for resembling the Fourier series and so on. And the prior work on Bayesian neural networks has made some connections between the Gaussian process priors and neural network structure. And this has allowed uh, obtaining stationary, locally stationary activation functions. Uh, but the behavior produced by these uh, activation functions is only locally stationary. So they are locally translation invariant. However, we show here that using periodic activation functions allows us to achieve global stationary uh, models, which uh, means that they also correspond to globally stationary translation invariant uh, invariance in the input space. The connection from the Gaussian process kernel um, to the activation function of a single layer infinite with random neural network is generally quite well understood. And uh, as this formula shows, the covariance function is fully defined uh, based on the neural network activation function sigma uh, and the prior priors on the neural network weights and biases. And for a stationarity inducing covariance function, there is an equivalence to the spectral density of a stationary process and the Fourier duality between the covariance and spectral density is described by the wiener kinchin theorem shown here in the second equation. And we show that periodic activation functions establish a connection between the prior on the network weights and the spectral density of the limiting stationary process. And uh, in addition to only uh, allowing us to achieve conservative behavior for the model. This also allows us to choose the neural network prior weight distribution in a principled way to make it correspond to
to a specific caution process uh, prior. And our work is not only limited to sinusoidal activations, uh, but we also show that uh, the same theory applies for all kinds of uh, periodic activation functions. For example, uh, we have experimented with the sine cosine activation, which is inspired by random projections and uh, a triangle wave activation and a new periodic ReLU activation. And we show that uh, there is a direct correspondence from the prior on the neural network weights uh, to the Gaussian process kernel. And different prior priors on the weights lead to different kernels. For example, uh, using a Cauchy prior distribution on the weights corresponds to an exponential kernel. A student T distribution corresponds to the Matern family of kernels. A standard normal distribution corresponds to an RBF kernel and so on. And to verify our theoretical results, we performed simulations uh, to see how well the neural network counterparts uh, match to the exact Gaussian process kernels. And this is a 1D kernel simulation to measure that. And looking at the results, we can see that all different periodic activation functions tested here are, are able to reproduce the exact kernel behavior with only small errors. Here we have a rotated MNIST digit experiment to observe the model behavior under distribution shift. The models are trained with unrotated images and tested with images of different rotation levels. On the left, we can see that for all models, the accuracy is dropping rapidly as the rotation angle increases with the lowest accuracy at about 90 degrees rotation. And this is uh, expected behavior similar for all models. And here, an ideal model uh, would have its confidence drop uh, as the accuracy drops to not be overconfident. And we can see that uh, both locally and globally stationary models are much less overconfident compared to the ReLU model, which suggests that they are able to revert back to the prior mean as the rotation angle gets more severe. And similar effect can be observed in the negative log predictive density curve, uh, where lower values are better. We also uh, performed a regression benchmark uh, experiment on UCI regression tasks. And for a model to um, correctly uh, represent uncertainty outside of uh, outside of the training data range on a regression task, the model needs to not only revert to the prior mean, but also uh, revert to the prior variance. And for this reason, we expect that the globally stationary models should perform better than the locally stationary model on this uh, experiment. And we can see that this actually happens as the best negative log predictive density results uh, for all data sets are achieved by globally stationary models. The root mean square error uh, results are quite similar between all models, which is expected because this metric only takes into account the predictive mean uh, and doesn't account for predictive uncertainty at all. Here we have an out of distribution uh, detection experiment on image, image classification. Here the model uh, has been trained on CIFAR 10 images and tested on CIFAR 100 and SVHN images. Here CIFAR 100 images are similar to the training set CIFAR 10 images, but from different classes. And the SVHN images are very different from the training images as they are images of uh, house number plates instead of uh, natural scenes. And looking at the sample predictive marginal variance histogram on the right, we can see that the model most confidently classifies the in-distribution data, the CIFAR 10 data set, and is less confident on CIFAR 100 images and least confident on the most different SVHN images, which is an intuitive result. Also, we can look at some uh, sample 
uh, sample images that from the test sets. For the Cypher 10 test images, the, uh, the ones that the model has classified as most similar to the training data are clear, uh, quite uh, usual, uh, easily classifiable examples of Cypher 10 images. And the least similar ones are quite uh, visually quite extreme and not like most of the training set images. For the Cypher 100 images, the most similar ones are from classes that actually resemble some of the Cypher 10 classes quite a lot. And the least similar ones are from uh, images from classes that don't really resemble any of the training set uh, image classes at all. For SVHN images, then the most similar ones among this test set images are ones, uh, numbers which have clear shapes and clear like uh, features, which is also uh, typical of Cypher 10, the training, training data uh, set. And the least similar ones are fuzzy or blurry images, which are like very different uh, of what the training set images usually are. And these sample images also suggest that the model has learned some meaningful representations. And uh, you can find results for more uh, models on this same experiment from our paper. Then a short recap. So periodic activation functions in neural networks establish a connection to stationary priors in Gaussian processes. And this stationarity induces conservative behavior. And our experimental results show that using periodic activation functions can improve uncertainty estimates especially outside of the training data domain. And if you had some uh, questions regarding this paper, uh, feel free to join the poster session uh, to ask, ask your question. Thank you very much for listening.